Um, we're welcoming all the expectations. Um, you know, at a place like Oklahoma, we're always going to have those type of expectations. So, I mean, it's really good to have. But at the end of the day, we still got to go out and do it. And uh, I feel like it just starts on day one and just taking it day by day and making sure that we're doing all the right things to, you know, win ball games around here. And uh, you know, I feel like it definitely starts right now. And we're just going to take it day by day. Uh, I think, you know, defensively, you know, we asked for these expectations, you know, I mean, two years ago when, we, when Coach Grinch came in here, you know, we knew this is where we wanted to be. And, you know, obviously we're not at where we want to be right now, but, you know, we came a long way. And, you know, I feel like we got to keep building on that. And, you know, with all the guys, you know, that, that are in that locker room on defensively, you know, we, we're definitely hungry this year. We're not satisfied at all. So we know there's still a chip on our shoulder and, you know, we, we still got to change that narrative. So we, we still have a long way to go defensively and we're going to keep on, on, on pushing for real. Um, I think it's a huge honor, uh, but, you know, it's a preseason right now, so you know, I'm not really, you know, too big into all that. You know, I'm trying to just go out and, and show with my play and, you know, go out this year and, uh, you know, play for my teammates and show what I can do. Um, I'd probably say maybe opening kickoff against Houston two years ago. I'd probably be the best one. Um, I think it's just mostly, you know, playing with confidence, you know, playing hard, playing with all the things Coach Grinch asked of us to do, you know, for 60 minutes and, you know, maybe even longer. But, you know, I feel like a real important key for us is, you know, you know, on defense, we love to play a lot of guys. And, you know, we just got to make sure, you know, when we bring in, you know, these younger guys that, you know, that come in and play, you know, there's no drop off. And, you know, making sure everybody that's in there, we're comfortable with playing and, you know, they're going to that they're going to play in the standard of, you know, this defense. Um, I, I would say just continuing to, you know, go off of what Coach Grinch talks about, you know, just playing hard, running to the ball, you know, creating turnovers. You know, it hasn't failed us yet. You know, when we've done these things, you know, we've, we've seen success in these defense. You know, when we haven't done those things, you know, we haven't had success. So, you know, just continuing to do what Coach Grinch preaches on, I feel like is a big part of, you know, taking that next step and, you know, trying to be, you know, the best defense in the country. So. Yeah, um, you know, Grinch, Coach Grinch always talks about not coming back the same player as you did last year. And, you know, I feel like I, I definitely took that to heart this season because I, I know just looking off of last season, I still have a lot of stuff I need to prove on. Um, obviously, one of those things is, you know, trying to bring more power into my game. You know, I've always been, you know, kind of a finesse player. And, you know, this year, you know, I've tried to put on the weight a little bit and, you know, try, just working harder in the weight rooms to make sure I, I bring more of a power into my game. So. I really don't think it was, you know, more of a change. You know, I, I just think it was, just, you know, really unfortunate we did lose those games, and, you know, we, so, you know, I guess we can put a blame in, you know, to, you know, us not really having like a, a whole, like, real off season, and, you know, not being able to, you know, do all the things we would normally do. So it was kind of weird on that part, but I really don't think it was a change. I just think we, you know, just had to keep staying the course and, you know, keep working hard, and, you know, you know, day by day, you know, game by game, we just got better as the season went on. So. Um, those two games I'm definitely grateful for. You know, obviously I wouldn't want it to happen, but I feel like it definitely did bring our team closer together. And, you know, because, you know, that's never happened before. Two straight losses, at least since I've been here. So, you know, it was definitely one of the craziest experiences, you know, since being here. But I'm glad, you know, our team came together the way we did. So, um, just really, um, I don't know, just focusing on, on the details and, you know, going into every game like it's your last and, and just playing hard. I mean, you can't really control, you know, you know what happens, you know, like in the, in the whole game. I and mean, you can just control what you can, can do. And you know, I feel like if you know eleven guys do their part on offense, eleven guys do their part on defense. You know, I feel like we we can, we can have success. You know, no matter who we're playing. So, you know, I just feel like on that part, you know, as long as we do our job, as long as we play for each other, you know, I don't see why we can't go out and win. You know, every game. So. Um, I, I just, it all starts really off the field, you know, you got to make sure you're doing the right stuff off off the field, whether it's going to classes, you know, not missing, you know, any tutoring sessions, mentoring sessions, it all starts there. And then, you know, once you can get that together, it, you can start, you know, coming to the football field and, you know, being a vocal leader, being a, a playmaker and stuff like that. So, you know, I feel like, you know, on my part, I'm not really much of a rah-rah type of guy, but I like to lead by example in all those, you know, different aspects. So, oh, most definitely, you know. I, if you don't, you know, take care of your stuff off the field, it's going to affect, you know, you on the field. And I can attest to that, you know, my freshman year, it wasn't, you know, I, I was, you know, all crazy and stuff. So, you know, I, <laughs> I mean, and then once I started taking care of business, I, I started seeing better results on the field. So, yeah, most definitely you got to have a mindset and you got to want to be better for yourself and, you know, just better for your team because at the end of the day, you know, if, if you're not doing, you know, what you're supposed to do, you're only hurting the team and not only yourself. So I, I definitely didn't want to let those guys down. Uh, yeah, that was, 
It was definitely on my mind, but it wasn't like any reason for me to try to want to get better. You know, I wanted that for myself. You know, I've looked at the film from last year and, you know, I wanted to get better at, you know, certain things I felt like I can get better at and, you know, different ways that I can help the defense. So, you know, I, I wouldn't take that as motivation, but, you know, it was definitely something that was on my mind. I feel like he's came a long way in terms of understanding the game more and the game slowing down for him and him being more mature when it comes to studying film and studying the opponent. So I feel like that person is definitely matured. Oh, it's going to be a good one for sure. I mean, just I'm excited for us and the fans. It's just a lot of tradition that goes into that game. And, you know, it's, it's definitely going to be a good one for sure. It's going to be a non-conference, you know, home game. So, you know, I, I'm definitely excited for the fans because I know it's going to be a good one. Um, it's really exciting, you know, not only for myself, but just other student athletes, you know, across the country, um, you know, just starting to, you know, benefit from their name, image, and likeness and starting to earn some money. So, you know, I'm just happy that, you know, a lot of the C student athletes that work so hard, you know, they get to, you know, finally reap the benefits of, you know, their hard work. So, uh, it definitely translates. Uh, you know, I feel like, you know, when you're around here long enough, you know, people start, your name starts to hold weight, you know, especially at a place like Oklahoma. And, you know, that along with, you know, you being able to make plays and you doing the right things off the field, you know, it just, you know, you, you, you demand a lot of attraction in that locker room. And, you know, I feel like for a guy like Jay Hall, who's been here for a while and he's made so many plays in, in, in you know, on our team, you know, a lot of guys just gravitate towards him and a lot of guys listen to him. So, you know, I feel like that definitely plays a big part of it. Um, it was really just, you know, just talking with Coach Grinch and just, you know, seeing what I wanted in life. You know, I, I had a goal, you know, why I wanted to play football. You know, I played for my family. You know, I want to help my mom out. I want to help her get out of a situation that she's in. You know, I want to, you know, make sure my whole family is good. So Coach Grinch just reminded me of that and, you know, reminded me that I have to do everything, you know, I can to, to make sure I, I do, I, I get that goal. So, you know, whether it's, you know, going to class, you know, doing all that type of stuff, you know, all of it co correlates to, you know, playing on the field. So, you know, the, just having that talk with him definitely opened my eyes up. I'd probably say going, going into spring, my, my, after my freshman year, during my freshman year. So that's more, yeah, I feel like it's more of a Coach Riley question because, you know, just knowing all those kids, they're, they're really great kids. And, you know, like, this is really a Coach Riley question. I, I know all three of them, and all the three of them were great kids. So. Um, he just never lets us get satisfied at all. He, he knows that we're not even close to where we want to be, and he knows the potential that we have you know, on that side of the ball. So just him make sure, making sure that we're not comfortable and that we keep trying to strive for greatness and, and getting better and better is just you know, why he's so great as a, you know, as a coach. And you know, I feel like why we're just going to keep better, getting better and better on defense. So that, that part of just never being satisfied is why I feel like Coach Grinch is really good. It all came kind of fast, so like, and even now, like, we still really don't know everything we need to know about it, but I mean, we're taking it day by day, you know, I know me, you know, as a player, and talking with my dad, you know, we're still trying to figure some stuff out, um, you know, we're still, you know, trying to talk to compliance, see what we can do, what we can't do, so it's just really a day by thing, day by day thing, and, you know, just trying to see how everything's going to go. I don't know if I consider it a rivalry, but they're always a great team to compete against. You know, they're always going to have great players on, you know, on, on their team, and we're always going to have great players on our team. And you know, I, it's just it's always a good game to look forward to because it's always been a good game the last couple of years. So you know, just competing against them and, and going to work against them, it, it's always good, and it's always going to you know get you up that Saturday morning to go against them. So. Oh, not at all. You know, I still say to this day, you know, Coach Mike is, you know, one of my you know, favorite people just ever. You know, I, I came over here specifically, you know, because of our relationship. And, you know, me and Coach Mike still talk to this day. So, you know, I, I feel like, you know, Coach Mike is you know, still one of the greatest people. And I, I wouldn't regret, you know, if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't change anything about it. So. Um, you know, just, you know, coming from their Juco background, you know, they're always going to come in with a chip on their shoulder. And, you know, you can always just tell, like, with Josh and Perrion, the hunger they play with and just how bad they want it. So, you know, they play with a different type of passion and when they come on the field. And I, I feel like, you know, it pays off with the way they play and the, and the plays that they make. So. Josh has gotten real, be real better since he's been here. You know, he's also, you know, Rick worked really hard in the weight room. He's gotten tremendously stronger. And, you know, yeah, I've seen it on spring this year, you know, just how he's played and, you know, how much production he made. So, I mean, you guys will see this fall how much, you know, Josh has really improved. So, I mean, I won't disagree with it. Every time we, you know, I've been here at least, we, we've won a national, I mean, we won a, a title here in the Big 12. So, you know, Coach Riley is definitely, you know, spot on, you know, with that, you know, definitely, you know, our second home and, you know, we plan to be back here this year for sure.
he can be real big. You know, his his versatility is probably the most important. You know, for our defense, just because you know he's powerful enough, so we can we can put him at three tech, and you know he can bully guys. You know, inside, and you know he also has that outside linebacker background to where if we want to, we can put him outside too and let him rush off the edge. So, just you know, I know Coach Grinch is just licking his chops on you know the ways that he can use him and you know how important he is to this defense. Uh, it was real big, you know, especially since, you know, the last couple years, you know, we haven't, you know, had like a, a win to end the season. So, you know, just having that W and just saying, you know, the confidence, you know, after that game and, you know, going into the spring and now going into the summer, you know, you can tell the confidence of that game, you know, has definitely, you know, boosted, you know, our team. And, you know, we're just excited to build off of that and, you know, go into this season, you know, we're going really high. So. Um, I don't know if I can speak for everybody else, but, you know, I feel like, you know, I, I started, you know, I can't say I was always the hardest worker, but I've definitely, you know, had goals and, you know, I, I've wanted to work harder and, you know, I've seen guys, you know, at the top of college football, you know, and I've always wanted to be one of those top guys. So I knew there was always hard work that had to go into that and, you know, all the other stuff that goes into, into, into being the best. So, you know, just definitely hard work and, you know, being more, you know, of a, of a student of the game and it would just take me to that another level. So I feel like that may be it. So. <laughs> I think that's, you know, a little bit of a stretch just because we haven't played a game yet. But, you know, I can definitely see what you guys are saying. I can see the potential for sure. Um, there's so much talent coming back on this team. So many guys with, with, with a chip on their shoulder coming into this year. And, you know, I'm just real excited. You know, there's so many guys that I can point to with so much talent. And, you know, you guys just haven't even, you know, just seen their full potential yet. And it's, it's really exciting to see. And I can definitely see, you know, why these comparisons are being made. Um, you know, I'll just point to some of the young guys like Billy Bowman. He he's a guy that came in from day one. Everybody's impressed with him, making you know ton of plays on the field. Um, Deshaun White is a guy who takes so much. He took so many steps in the spring, and he's really impressed. And I'm really excited for him because I know he's going to take that next level. Um, Latrell McCutcheon has been a guy that has also came in, made a couple plays. And I, I can just go on and on on defense. I mean, there's been so many guys that, you know, that, that have just come in. And, you know, a guy on the offense I, like, I took notice of because he was just making plays all over in, 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 um, in spring when he was playing was, you know, Theo Weiss. And, you know, he's come back now. And just the things that he's doing, he's on a different level. So, you know, I'm really excited for a lot of the guys on the team. It's exciting, um, you know. I, I'm all, I'll be welcome to it. You know, I know there's a lot of other programs that'll be welcome to it. Just you know, opportunity to play in the college football playoffs with the expansion, and you know, you know, just for a group of five teams. You know, I know they haven't had the chance to you know get in in the, in the playoffs. So I know it'll be good for them to possibly get one, two, you know, or two teams in. So you know, I think it'll be overall it'll be good for college football. And you know, I know, you no, know, I wouldn't complain about having more games. So I know it for sure be good. Oh, most definitely. In the, um, in the spring game, I don't know if you saw the one-handed catch that he made, but that's just something that, you know, we've seen a lot from Jaden since day one that he's got in here. And he's another one of those guys that, you know, have so much potential and so much ability that, you know, I just can't wait for him to show out this year and, you know, just be the player that we know he can be. Health-wise, he's really good, 100%. No, I feel like that perception is definitely changing. There's just so many great players in this league and defensively so many great defenses. I mean, you know, it really is changing and, you know, the nation even is just starting to take notice of it. You know, I don't think we have that same notion to where, you know, Big 12 isn't playing any defense anymore. I mean, you can look at last, you know, the bowl games last year. I mean, you can just see a difference in how we're playing against other conferences and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I feel like definitely the, the Big 12 is changing that narrative on defensively. I think it'll play a big part in eliminating it, but at the end of the day, we still got to go out and do it. So, I mean, it'll definitely play a big part for sure. Um, I think he would definitely bring a lot of fire and a lot of, you know, you know, hard work and you know, capabilities. And he's just going to, he's a good motivator. You know, I can tell you the amount of times where it's just a practice and he's already motivating us like it's a game. So, you know, I feel like Coach Grinch, you know, he definitely has, you know, a lot of intangibles to be a great head coach, you know, wherever he would go. So. I feel like really any coach on our staff, you know, has the has the capability to do that. They're all, you know, great, you know, individual coaches, and you know, all have qualities to, that that make up a, of a great head coach. So, you know, I can point to any coach on the staff. <laughs> I mean, touchdowns are the most important thing, you know, when it comes to the game of football. But I feel like, you know, sacking the quarterback is probably the next best thing. So that that's probably my pitch right there. 
I feel like most definitely. And um, just seeing, you know, the guys, younger guys, like, um, I don't know, just the recruits, you know, they see guys like me, you know, Jaden Davis, you know, just coming over to, you know, uh, like the Big 12 and starting to make plays and making the names for ourselves, you know. It's definitely, like, opened their eyes a little bit just talking to some of the guys, you know, down there. And, you know, I, I feel like they don't really get into much, like, you know, like who the school is, just where the best fit is for them. And, you know, I, I feel like, you know, us as Florida boys, you know, I feel like we're doing a good job of that, so. Um, I, I'll probably go with Woody Washington. Just because just he's a guy, you know, he's made plays last year, and and he's and he's been a real good force for us. And he had to switch positions last year too, going from safety to corner. So, you know, I, I feel like I don't I don't hear a lot of people, you know, talk about him too much. But I feel like he's definitely going to wake some people up this year for sure. Uh, it definitely wasn't a ten, but you know, that's the goal this year. We're we're, we're trying to get there, and you know, I feel like with the strides we're making, it, it's definitely a possibility this year. But again, we just got to keep working. We got to keep doing the things that Coach Grant's asked of us, and you know, I feel like we definitely have the potential to get to that ten point. Uh, it feels good that you know all the hard work that we've been putting in, you know, since Coach Grinch has came here is now paying off to where you know people are, you know are starting to respect that. Okay, Oklahoma has a defense. Oklahoma is getting known for its defense, but you know, again, we still have a long way to go until you know we're we're known as one of the elites and you know come be you know a, a respectable Oklahoma defense. So you know, just got to keep working and you know just you know listen to Coach Grinch and, and doing the things that he's asking of us. <laughs> <laughs> Genetics, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just use like I don't know, like regular shampoo. I don't know, like I. I don't. <laughs> mm. Old Spice. Uh, even though TB and you know guys like Trey Norwood, you know they're gone, and you know I feel like we we bring back a lot of uh, a lot of good players, and even the guys that are just coming in, they're coming in being real competitive. Uh, I think the guys they have a lot of guys in that room that are trying to prove something, and they have a chip on their shoulder coming into this year. And you know I, there's been the tremendous strides in that room that I've seen coming in the spring and you know leaving spring, and I'm really excited for that room. I think like we have a lot of playmakers, and I feel like you guys are gonna you know see a lot of that coming this year. So. Um, the inside backer group is probably the deepest on the team. You know, we just, you have a bunch of guys that you can go in and, and put in, you know, guys like, you know, Brian Osamoa, David Aguebu, Deshaun White, Brian Mead, Caleb Kelly, Jamal Morris had a really good spring, you know, Joseph Wete, you know, a lot of those guys in that room, Shane Witter, he's a, he's a guy that's you know, coming along. So, I mean, there's so many guys that you can go with and, and put in. So, you know, I know Coach Hayden, Coach Odom's going to have his hands full on who to play this year. So, I mean, it, it's definitely, you know, good to see because you'd rather have that problem than have no depth at all. So.